Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I got something here. I got it from Larry's Performance RCs. Check them out. I got the link below. If you're looking for something, we'll give you a good deal. Tell them Shen RC sent you. Great place, great service. Awesome guys at that shop. Anyway, I'm going to open this up and show you guys what's inside. We're going to wait a little bit, see maybe we could get more people in here. But if you can, check out Larry's Performance RCs. Like I said, he's awesome. Tug RCs in the house. What's up? I also got something here also for this. Might be a bad time to do a live. Usually better off doing them later, but I don't want to interfere with anyone else that's having them. I think the Tank RC may have one, but I'm not going to stay on too long here. But All right, guys. I got my uh, Larry shirt on. <laughs> we got Fern Solo Island RC Duke Thanks for stopping in guys Like I said If these guys want to pick up something At a great price Go check out Larry's uh, Performance RCs I got the link below If you're looking to get something Tell them Shen RC sent you It'll hook you up Place is awesome You get the best deals there Wayne Kibler's RC Adventures. Thanks for stopping in. So I'm going to unbox this. I had, uh, first let me tell you guys, I had the last on-road I had was when Tamaya came out with the TTO2. And uh, I think it was the Ferrari body, one of the first ones. I had one of those, and it's been a while now since I had an on-road. So that's why I decided to get one of these because the place I go to that park, they had the tennis court and also they repaved over there. So it's pretty smooth on the roads there. Model Nutty's here. He says he's modding the F out of a toy boat here. <laughs> How's the uh, picture look? Because I'm starting to manually adjust the camera instead of letting everything on auto. Panic Mike's in the house. Yeah, I was uh, torn between getting this one, the Hellcat from Kyosho. I really like the Camaro, the second gen one from the uh, Vatera, but I didn't know about the chassis, if it was that good or not, so that's what made me decide to go with the Kyosho. I like the Camaro, too. I don't know. Maybe in the future I'll get a Camaro. <laughs> Tugger it's good. All right, because I'm doing it manually, I don't know. I do the brightness, the color, the uh, white balance manual now. So, all right, I'm going to open this up. I ain't going to have a million people here, but I guess they could look back at it if they want to see it. I'm going to have to stand to open I didn't even open this. I had it here all day since in the morning. I was waiting. I couldn't wait to open it. <laughs> all righty. Mark Bryant's in the house. Nordic RC Visions. Thanks for stopping in. I'm just opening up this beauty now. Packed in there tight. Let me get up through this. I 
Like I said, I had this sitting here all day waiting for this live. There it is. A little bit of what comes in here, I'll show you. It's got full ball bearings. The radio on this looks really nice. I got to show you guys. It looks nice. I think it's a nice one for a ready to run. Oil shocks. I think it's a, what is this? 14 turn motor. It's got the little rotors. Geo one, is it brushed? No, this is brushed, but it goes pretty quick out of the box. It goes like 25, I think I seen, because it has like a 14 turn motor. It's a lot faster than like the uh, what the heck is the Vatera on road? All right, there it goes. I'm opening the seal. Mmm, new RC smell. <laughs> What's it come out with a whole section? Hold on, guys. Things stuck. jammed in there there it is it's got the plastic wrap let me get this box out of the way didn't want to come out of its box <laughs> who we got in here we got green frog what's up j led led it oh <laughs> one hey dad rc Thanks, guys, for coming. Here's the stock radio. I, I like the way it looked. It has an angled wheel. You know, the better radios they have where you could angle it so when you're relaxed, it fits. Dang it. This one really nice. I like this. It has a three-position switch here. Steering trim. Steering dual rate. EPA throttle, forward throttle trim, EPA for the forward, steering reversing, throttle reversing. It looks pretty good. Look at it. I don't know if you could see that. The light's probably not good enough. Well, it has everything you need. There's even a switch on the back here to move the trigger out to, you, to the way you want, I guess. Feels nice. I like it. Derek Curtis is in the house. Let's get to, oh wait, what's in here? Let's see what they give you in here real quick. Instructions, I ain't gonna bore you with that. It looks like in here they give you some wrench and like some little rotors, the disc rotors and stuff. The calipers, it looks like, with the wheel hexes. They may be for a different offset. I'm not sure. All right. Let's see what the car looks like. The radio's pretty neat. It's probably zip tied in here a bit. Let me see. Yep. Yeah. Zip tie. Let me get a cutter out here. Don't it come with a battery? Uh, I'll have to look. It might be in the car. It shows. I don't see a battery on the package. We'll find out. I don't see a battery on the package, so it might not come with the battery. But it, it's, uh, it's zip tied on there with some big ties. Two 
two of them. Oh, it's hot in this garage. There she is. Throw this away. Damn, there's a lot of cardboard for this one. They give you a protective wrap on it. Wait a minute. I know some of you guys like to hear the sound of this. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hold it up for you guys so you can see what it looks like. Nice mirrors. Hey, I wonder why they give you them extra, uh, they give you extra, like, uh, rotors with the hexes on them. It already has them on. You could see them. I got to admit, this body looks really good. That's kind of why I purchased it. The Camaro, when I was looking at, looks nice, but because the Camaro is so curvy, the second gen, it's hard to produce an Alexan. Where this body's kind of boxy, so they captured it almost like real. It looks like everything on it, the way they did it, is really, really good. Looks sexy. Yeah, it's the Nordic RC Vision. It's the plum crazy, that purple they come in. Fern Solo says, beautiful. Looks like a drifter. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty cool. It has uh, light buckets in the front. You can put LEDs. So what I did, seeing that this is a demon here, or a Hellcat, I got the lights for it, but I got the red ones. So I'm going to put the red ones in the front instead of the white. So it should have red. These are going to be red instead of having the white ones. I figured I'd go with red to make it look evil looking. I don't know how it's going to look. <laughs> but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the red ones up front and see how that looks. All right. It's got the spoiler is mounted on. That's like a plastic spoiler. It's got the plastic shark antenna, plastic mirrors. A plastic uh, fuel cap right there. So that's pretty cool. It's like detailed. Uh, let's take off the body. I don't know how to say your name. Um, cover prod project. Thanks. I appreciate it. RC Mass Masters in the house. All right, let's take this off and see what she looks like underneath. You got your typical uh, four body clips. I don't have long fingernails, so they're hard for me to get off. I got to bend the ends up on these. Check out the body. There's what the body looks like. The mirrors are held on with the little uh, body clips, and so is the top shark antenna thing. And uh, I don't know if these guys could see. It's kind of hard. It's like dark. There's the buckets over here for the LEDs. So I'm just going to put two of them with red. I don't know if I'm, they didn't have four in the kit, so I'm just going to put the two up front red and see what it looks like. Here's the chassis. Panic Mike. I wish it came with me. Yeah. It would look nice for that body post, but damn, the tires, the tires feel pretty grippy on it too. Nice. 
The diffs are nice. They're not open, like really open. They're kind of creamy. <laughs> kind of creamy. <laughs> it's got oil shocks. It's like a tub kind of module sealed design. So it's pretty good. The A-arms. I know I have my uh, Mad Bugs been pretty good, and this is the updated chassis to that, the phaser. So this should be much better. And this motor here is huge. It's a 14 turn. 14 turn. I need to have more light on this. It's a 14 turn. It's like a pretty nice motor. It's, it's probably going to be pretty good out of the box. Feels, let me see how strong it is. Feels pretty good. They have the Velcro going in a slit in the bottom here when they hold the pack in. So I guess there ain't no battery pack in this because I didn't see nothing. So I guess you have to buy your own battery pack. They give you a Dean's plugs, which is nice. Looks sweet though. Mark Brain says it looks sweet. Nice little light buckets. I wonder if I could jump another set of red ones and put four in there. Or I'll just do the outsides and just do them red on the outside. That motor makes the Rage 2 go nicely. Should be real good in that chassis. Yeah, hey, Dad, that's right. It probably will be because uh, I think I was looking at the Vitera, the Camaro, and I think they don't have this low of a motor in theirs. So this one's pretty good out of the box. I, I seen guys say it was pretty quick. Transmitter. Tugga's asking about the transmitter. Four A's in here. Four A's, which is good. I really like the transmitter. This is cool. It has a lot of options on it. They improved it over the old ones. But, yeah, the wheels look nice. It's got chrome uh, chrome rotors. You guys probably can't see them good. They're chrome with, like, a red uh, brake caliper. They look really good. The tires feel real grippy, so it should handle pretty good. It's got a plastic drive shaft. I think you could upgrade to an aluminum one. But I think this is pretty strong because I have a plastic one in my Mad Bug V and it held up good. I don't know if this has like waterproof electronics or not. I'm not sure. I don't see nothing on there. I think the ESC is waterproof. I don't know about the servo. The ESC shows waterproof, but I don't see nothing on the servo if it's waterproof. But who's going to run through water anyhow? Nordic RC Vision, is it? A, yeah, this is the Synchro KT231P. It's pretty cool. It, it's really nice. I like all the adjustments on it. It's a lot better than most all ready-to-run radios you get. This has more adjustments on it. So that's pretty cool. Take a look at the instructions for the hell of it if they showed us an exploded view of what's inside this thing here. Of course, like always, you get the little guy showing you how to drive, so you got to make sure when you drive it, drive it just like this little kid does, or you'll be in trouble with the law. RC Mass Master, I mean, I'm totally going to drive it in the rain through the water. You probably might be able to. I, I can't see if it's a waterproof servo. Oh, yeah, the servo is waterproof, so I guess it is all waterproof. I guess if they put the ESC in the uh, servo, I guess the receiver would be. It would be kind of silly if it wasn't. <laughs> I 
Nordic RC vision. I love those Kyosho and Tamaya drawings. Let's see if uh, they have where they show it all apart, like an exploded view. And yeah, they got they got a few pages here showing everything, but it looks like it has oil. Damn, I'm surprised. I don't know if you guys could see it. It looks like it has the oil-filled diffs in it, so that's cool. That's a bonus. There's some more. I don't know if you guys could even see that, but that's it. They show it all apart, and they got separate pages on all this stuff here, which is good manual. Shows you everything in this thing, so it's really good. 32, it's showing a 32 tooth pinion gear in it. Holy crap. That's a big ass pinion gear. And it looks like from what they show here, you got a lot of adjustments all the way around there, preset for the pinion size. It looks like there's a whole bunch of holes. So you probably, it's ringed all the way around. So you probably got a lot of different pinions you could use. Motor City RC's in the house saying, what's up, Steve? I live near Larry's. Yeah, Larry's is awesome. Great place. Nice people. Good service. I get this in two days. He ships it, and I get it in two days. Tug RC, looking at the site from where you got it. It does say WP60 amp with waterproof servo. Yeah, I wonder if the receiver, I guess the receiver is probably waterproof. I doubt they would put all waterproof stuff and not have the receiver. Maybe it has something on the radio in here. It'll show you. I think, uh, remember I said these uh, extra, the wheel adapters and the uh, disc brakes, they have the hubs in them. I think this is, it says here, there's different offset. I don't know if this is zero offset or the one that comes on it is zero and maybe this is different. But that's what that is, so that's good. You could use different wheels. Trying to see if they have anything on the uh, receiver saying that if it's waterproof or not. I would think it is because I think they use this in a lot of their waterproof trucks. I don't see nothing on it in here. Nothing. Anyhow, I got the lights I'm going to put in. It looks good. I like the chassis. It looks like a good on-road chassis. I like the A-arms. Let me see if they're flexible. Yeah, it's flexible too, so it looks like it ain't going to break too easy on impacts. You can see, look, I could bend it. See it? It's a little flexible material. Venture Time RC. What's up? And I guess they got the foam in here also. Look, guys, you could take this foam out and probably cut it any length you want to fit different packs in there. Feels pretty good. It's got a, a tunnel under there. It's pretty smooth. The only thing is this is a little out, but I think when you strap the battery in, this goes down. And also, guys, I think this chassis is used on a rally chassis. I, I remember seeing somewhere. I think you could put different rod ends on the shocks, the ends, and it'll drop the suspension to make it like a rally car. 
So even if you didn't want it this low to the ground, you could put different rod ends and it'll give you more ground clearance if your street isn't really smooth and you needed more ground clearance. Because it's pretty low. It's lower than the thickness of this uh, cotton pliers. Let me see if they got them in here. Yeah, I see different ends in here. I think you might be able to put them on the shock and get more ground clearance out of it. Like the rally cars. Let me see. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys could see it. These are real short. You see the metal rod of the uh, shock going in. And the ones they give you are like longer, the plastic where you thread it on. So if you want to raise the ground clearance, if your street's bad, you could just raise it by switching those and you won't get hung up on anything as like bad. Micron, it's in the house. Oh, that Hellcat is nice. <laughs> Jeremy VRC, love that Hellcat body. Let's see, I put it on real quick. Show you guys once more. And it's nice too. It's a nice size. It's pretty, it's not that small. Look at it. Well, the Gen 8, I don't know if you guys know the Gen 8's huge, but look at the difference. The body on it, it's not that much longer. So this is a real nice size. This body's really cool. Micron, he sent me five simoleons. Thanks, brother. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, boy, for having awesome grips. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to put a purple. I'm going to probably put a purple one on this beauty here. Match the body. Fern Solo, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. So does anyone out here have uh, have the Vatera chassis uh, on road? Any of you guys have the Vatera chassis on road cars? Here's what this looks like. That spoiler on the front looks kind of low. Kind of. Scared about hitting that beauty. <laughs> so no one has one of the Vatera on-road cars. It's really cool also. You can't see, but they did like, uh, they got the windshield wipers. And in these vents here, they have like stickers that make it look like a vent. Hello, am I still here? <laughs> I think I got blacked out for a second. Well, anyway, uh, I was saying it's pretty cool. They have stickers in the vent, so they look like real. Basher Boys Glamis is sitting right in front of me. Oh, Adventure Time, you guys, Glamis? That's cool. Don't run it too hard. <laughs> Jerry VRC, I'm looking to get the Camaro soonish. Yeah, that's the one I was looking at also. I was torn between getting the Camaro and this one because I have a second generation Camaro. I really like the Camaro, but I wasn't sure of the chassis. And to be honest with you, this body, because it's squarish looking, it looks like uh, this looks more more realistic like they got all the body lines right and the camaro to me is off a bit it's a kind of it's curvy and they can't they can't get the sides right on it or something but i i didn't know about the chassis that's why i went with the kyosho one RC Mathematics, raise it up. Hello, that looks like about 
I don't know how much ground clearance. Let me see if I could look at it from the side. I think they put it really low. It's probably about more than a quarter inch. Let me see. I got a droop gauge. It's higher than the thickness of an X-Acto knife, if you guys know what those are. It's higher than the thickness of this. So it ain't that bad, but you can raise it up. I want to, Jerry VRC, I want to get the green Camaro and turn it into the F-bomb from Roadkill. Oh, I'm talking about the second, oh, you're talking about the second generation. All right. I didn't know if it was green. It looks like an olive color. Leon's RC Hobbies. What's up? Thanks for stopping in. Guys, if you didn't hit that like button, I'd appreciate it if you can. It always helps my channel out. And that's a good thing. Yeah, this is real nice. I hope it don't flip easy. <laughs> I hope it slides out before it flips. <laughs> All I have to do is hit it with a coat of the Jay Leno's and it'll be like really glistening up. Uh, I'm going to put two red LEDs in the front so it looks like it's mean looking. RC Mass I love the color. Yeah, the plum color is nice. It's like a pearl metallic -y plum. It's not flat color. I'll have to see. I'll have to give it a test run. It looks like the body's two sections in the back here. They have like a little screw to hold back. It's pre-molded in a different section. And it looks like the back has the plastic lenses. They're all, uh, this is like a plastic piece, like detailed that's bolted in from the inside. That's why it looks pretty look good looking like that. It's like a separate big piece. Jerry VRC would make a sick drift car. You got to check out my video. I have the Tamaya Jimny truck. I drifted with that. <laughs> so I'll probably try it with this too. So I like it. Seeing it in person, it looks better than in the pictures. When you see the pictures on the Kyosho site, it looks better when you get it in your hands. Damn, it's pretty sweet. The tires feel nice, too. Too bad the real cars. And, oh, yeah, I guess it is four-wheel drive, but not the Hellcat, ain't eh? Or this is the Demon, it shows. Oh, no, the Hellcat. Jerry V says, that Chevelle from Kyosho is nice. I just wish it was all black. Yeah, they made it. The silver, they should have made, did they make one orange? They should have made one orange with white stripes. A black one would have been nice with like maybe the silver stripes. I don't know what they got. I, I've seen it. I know they got the, uh, the one like the Duke boys car, but the year later, 1970 is pretty cool. Yeah, the black, the hood on here because they did it flat looks really awesome. On my screen, it looks blue more than uh, in person. It looks really purple. But on my screen I'm looking at, it makes it look like a bluish purple. Because I noticed laptop is kind of coolish looking, the uh, white balance on it. I think they made a silver with black stripes and then they have an orange. Yeah, they need to make more colors in them. Would have been nice if they made like orange in this one too, like with a hood like that. 
Rick Bachman's here. He says, that's a good-looking car, Steve. like the colors. Thanks. It's my first on-road in a long time. So I hope it run. It should run pretty fast, too, with this 14-turn motor they got in here. Yeah, they'd be nice orange with a black hood. They should make one like that. They used to make a green one, like a fluorescent green one was nice. They got the one eight scale one that's huge. Did you see that one? It's the uh, new one with the fender flares. It's red. It's one eight scale. It's, that one's pretty cool. I just hope it don't flip easy. I hope it slides out and power slides before flipping over. Cool. This body's a lot easier to make with the Lexan than like the second gen Camaro one because the Camaro's like all sucked in, rounded and stuff. Mike, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. I, like I said, I've been waiting all day to unbox this, so <laughs> now I finally did. <laughs> Details nice. The windows are smoked. They're not. They look like like stickers, like you don't see through them, but they're smoked. You could see through them. They're clear. And in the back, they got all the uh, like the what is it called? The heater thing, the defogger. It has all the little lines in it and stuff. It looks cool. Yeah, I met Jerry. I might get that Camaro in the future. It depends if um, I could use this on road and it's good where I bring it. I might get the Camaro in the future sometime. The tires feel pretty grippy on it, Rick, so I think it's going to handle pretty good. They're not like plasticky. They're real gooey feeling. No, what's weird about this Kyosho, the tires screw on with a hex. Did you see that? They screw on with a hex instead of using a, a nut on the wheel. Take care, Mark. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it as always. So I don't know when I'm going to get out to test this, and I'll have to do a video on it. I have some things I'm working on already, but I'm definitely going to take it out and try it. 2S LiPo will probably run good in it. All right, Jerry, thanks for stopping in. He has to finish some editing work. I know how that is. One time I was on the live, and I was editing my video as I was typing. <laughs> it's hard work. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to unbox this and show you guys. It looks pretty cool. In the future, you'll see a video. And like I said, check out Larry's Performance RC. If you guys need anything, I'll give you a great deal. Tell them Shen RC sent you, and I'll hook you up. I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching, guys, and I appreciate the support, as always. And one more look at this bad boy before I pull the plug. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for uh, coming on the live. It's fun as always, and I'll see you next time, and I'll leave you with a beauty. Take care and have a good night.